Now we're going to do shot number four. Right. And we're going to draw along this line. Now this requires less draw. So you might think it's easier than this one. This one was extreme draw, you know, with a nice soft touch for, for many of us. For me, this shot is harder because it, it, it requires more feel. It's in between. You know, if I do maximum draw, I know I can draw here. If I don't draw enough, I can go here. When I was going down this line, I was pretty much going for maximum draw. You know, just all out. You know. So this one, you can overdraw, you can underdraw, um, and drawing it right here, or to here, with just center ball draw really um, takes a lot of skill. Um, I'll show you a little cheat, you know, maybe you, <laughs> you can be a little safer. Maybe you don't want to draw near that, that, that pocket and you want to come out here. Well, if you go here with some spin, you can, you can do that. I'm going to try to go straight draw first. We'll see how I do with that. A lot of feel. Yeah, you didn't draw it enough. Okay, so I'm not <coughs> excuse me. But now if you're in a game, you'd rather make that mistake than than this mistake. I was trying to scratch. <laughs> I over, overdrew. Okay, so you can see those two mistakes right there. You don't draw enough, and you overdraw. Let me try one more, just straight draw. Yeah. That's a pretty good shot. Barely got the paper. Totally flirted with the scratch. Now, if I had to shoot it in the game, I would do it with low outside. I'd go more over here and let the spin run your back. I really, you know, if you miss in a game, <clears throat> doesn't have to be the end of the world, but if you scratch, it, it's death. So let's draw with um, a little bit of outside. And that, to me, takes less feel. You know, I'm not saying I can do that all day long, Right? But I feel a little safer. <laughs> you know, that shot didn't look right. And uh, this uh, projector, illuminated queuing arts thing, it's a cheat too. Um, when I do this, this workout, like I said, you only need paper as targets, maybe some paper hole reinforcements. Later on, I'm going to use, I'll show you the uh, sharpshooter aiming stickers. You can put those on the table. That'll help you with the aim. And that's what I was thinking about right there was the aim. It didn't look right, so I cheated. I used this aiming line and ghost ball instead of doing it myself. It's, uh, but it can improve a lot of your aim, too. It's not, where am I going? Um, I'm drawing with spin. All right. Got a little sidetracked. I'm sorry. Right there. See, that shot right there, to me, you put, now I'm using side spin instead of center ball. So that sounds more difficult for a lot of people, but to me, it makes the shot a little bit easier. And I can take a little feel. Now, I'm not telling you to spin everything. I like, pe teach, I like to teach people how to spin the ball. I do. And then I have to say, okay, don't use it when you don't need it. It's kind of reversed. Everybody else teaches center ball, center, center ball. And then they try to teach them side spin. And they don't want to do it because they're going to miss. So I make them spin it a lot at the beginning. And then take it away when they don't need it. If you're a very good player, you could probably do what I just did. Pretty consistent. 
maybe you should practice with more center ball. You know, it requires more feel. Um, you'll figure it out. That's um, shot number four.